with Mary's essential tremors, she would be shaking so bad the fork would be clicking on the plate. She couldn't keep her food on her fork and people would start staring at her, which is very uncomfortable. And when they turn on the deep brain stimulation, it was, it was one of the coolest things you'll ever see in your life because she's sitting there, she's shaking like this, and then they turn it on and her hands like this, steady as can be. Mary was diagnosed with essential tremors with Parkinsonism, which means she has symptoms which mimic Parkinson's. I have trouble speaking sometimes, so Chris will help me out. Mary always loved to quilt. She made a lot of quilts, and one of the most frustrating times of her life was when she was trying to quilt, and her tremors were just getting so bad that she finally had to stop. She just couldn't do things. She wasn't able to thread a needle or the rotary cutter. You don't want to use a rotary cutter when you have tremors. It's not a good situation. We're very social people. We like to go out. And with Mary's essential tremors, it was really awkward when we would go out to dinner in a restaurant because her tremors were so bad that she would get a lot of awkward stares. It was really uncomfortable. She was shaking so bad that she couldn't keep her food on her fork. At first, uh, they didn't bother me because I, I just dealt with it. And they weren't too bad. But it's been, you've suffered with tremors for over, over 40 years, right? Yeah, at least 40 years. About nine years ago, we started seeing Dr. Anne Marie Murray at the RNI clinic. She was very helpful to Mary. She was the doctor who convinced Mary to undergo the deep brain stimulation. It's very important to understand that it's very minimally invasive. It's precision medicine. This is not wear and tear medicine, right? This is not a wear and tear surgery. This is precision surgery. Quite frankly, it's out of sight and out of mind. Everything's under the skin. Everything in, in most day-to-day -day life, people wouldn't even know you have it. They have a halo, which is mounted on your head with a very small hole in it, which they insert the electrode into your brain. And then they run a wire under your skin down to your collarbone. You come back and two weeks later, they put the generator in, and then you come back and they turn the generator on. I had the DBS surgery at the RNI in June 2018. The transformation was just, it was so fantastic. Well, we've been married for 40 years. We have two children and we have a seventh month old grandson who was born in April. It means the world to me, you know. She's happy and she's able to do everything a grandma wants to do with her grandson. It's just, it's a wonderful experience, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. It's, it's just amazing, you know, to be able to see her do things that have minute details, such as taking a piece of thread and putting it through the needle and start quilting again and getting after it, right? I mean, it's fun to watch her to be able to quilt again. You can do normal things where as you were restricted before. Yeah. There was a lot of things you couldn't do. Like do my hair, my makeup, button my shirts, put them in jewelry. It's overwhelming to think about going through the surgery and what they're going to do. But the results in the end are well worth it because the tremors will be gone and you can live a normal life like anybody else. And why go anywhere else when you go to the R&I Institute, right? I just, there's no need to go anywhere else. You can go to WVU and get the best care in the world right here.